show is being recorded in front of a live audience. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Love you too. You're too kind. During the making of this podcast, no obscenities were muttered. About f***ing time. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Pull Yourself to Peaches, the show where we wait, talk wait, about did you, fruit. Did you just say peaches? Yes. No. Nope. No can do. Okay. Pull Yourself to Speeches, the show where we talk peaches? about... Uh-uh. Nah, Not a... Still wrong. Try again. Pull yourself to beaches. The show where we talk about zip. sand. No, and... zip, zilch, zero. Really? <sighs> Give it another go. Nieces. Wrong. A... Uh, wrong. I got it. Okay. Hello, and welcome to Pull Yourself to Feces. <sighs> the poop cast. Dead air. Pull Yourself to Pieces will now give you about 30 seconds of silence in order to get our dead air out of the way and to have a smooth flowing show. Here we go. So are the mics turned down? Yes. As I do every week, the mics are turned down. Nobody okay. can hear us. Oh, well, that's good. Can we hear us? Yeah. Okay. And can no you hear one me? can see us. And I have to say, thank that's a God good thing. they can't see us because. Yeah. Why? Oh, oh, this. Yeah. Oh. What is that? Well, what does it look like? Well, it, well, it looks like you have ink on your face and it looks like. Yeah. Isn't, isn't it cool? Yeah. On your face. I picked, I picked it out. Yeah, I, I, I picked it out. I thought it would look good. You, you picked don't like it? That? You picked? Yeah. You picked a banana. What? It's, a banana? It looks like a banana on your face. No, it's supposed to be a half moon. Oh. oh no. Oh. It looks like a banana? It's not a very well done job. Yeah. Well, I didn't pay a lot. That's why. Oh, okay. You know, you Good know, thing. they're saying you get what you pay for. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, why man, on your banana. face? Really? I, I, well, you got a whole body, a whole body. Yeah. You could have put it on and a banana. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you no, could have put that in a lower spot. Maybe. Yeah, but nobody would see it then. That's why. Uh, well, <sighs> and here, watch, watch this. See, it peels right off. Oh, I oh. think our time's up. Okay. This presentation sponsored by? Are you a dog lover? If you are, then you know there is nothing more rewarding than taking your pet out for a walk. And that is the time when they will generally relieve themselves. Now comes the tricky part. As a good citizen, you don't want to leave your pet's gift where others can step in it, but you are helpless at how to remove it. Introducing Poop Purse a Michael Kors knockoff that looks like a purse, but is actually a plastic-lined place to put your pet's poop. Just open it up and drop it in. You can carry it around for hours with no one knowing what's inside. Be fashionable and courteous at the same time. Scoop sold separately. Find the poop purse in overpriced stores that sell useless junk. It's time for another installment of What in God's Name, where we explore some bizarre and unusual religions. Um, God, do you think that's a good idea? Of course it's a good idea! Well, he says it's okay. Let's talk about it. All right, you asked for it. Well, this time I've picked a doozy. <laughs> this one... Aren't they usually... <laughs> yeah, but this one is really good. This one takes the cake, huh? Yeah, takes the cake and runs with it. Um, <laughs> okay. This religion 
This religion is called Jediism. Je- and Jediism? Jediism. Yes, and if you're thinking what I think you're thinking, yeah. you are cor- you are correct. It okay. is a re- It is a religion inspired by George Lucas's Star Wars movies. Oh boy. Yes, Jediism was founded <laughs> in two in 2008 don't make me laugh it's <laughs> by so by daniel jones and his brother barney oh uh, yeah. barney jones daniel yeah. daniel and barney jones yes not to be confused with barnaby jones and <laughs> okay. um yeah so uh, apparently there have been incidents when jedis have been evicted from public places for refusing to take off their hood uh, including the founder, Daniel, which led to the beginning of a campaign for Jedi rights. Oh, so Je- yeah, <laughs> Jedi, Jedi rights. rights. So you've got these nudniks that walk around in, in like hooded robes, acting like they're Jedis. And because they refuse to take off their hood, um, oh. they are, yeah, again, they're campaigning for Jedi rights. Ooh. This yeah. hurts to be yeah. a, a Star Wars fan. This actually Doesn't hurts. It? Yeah. yeah, this yeah. This is this is this this is yeah. like a bad remake, you know, and, and yeah. how it would hurt the original. Yeah, this yeah. kind of this is painful. This is yeah, painful. this this is um wow. This is this is almost as bad as if there was Kirkism where you would you follow the the <laughs> it might be <laughs> the words of of, you know, of of James T. Kirk, and uh, yeah, yeah. But no, William this, Shatner. This is the other one, William Shatner, right? <laughs> and you had to listen to all the songs that he's redone, and oh, God. and um, yeah, imagine that. So oh, I no, wish, we could, is, I wish uh, we could play those. I wish we could play those. I'm sorry that we can't. But I'm with you. I wish find we could those play them William Shatner or Golden Throat albums, and you can be yes. you can be yes. you can enjoy some. <laughs> Hours of ridiculousness. Yes. And so, and so the Jedis believe that the force is a reality and that morality oh is an innate quality of human beings. Well, oh boy, they think the force is real. Oh, boy. yes. And that morality is oh an boy. innate quality of human beings. I could kind of see that in a way, although morality doesn't seem to be a quality in a lot of human beings lately, um, <laughs> yeah. as we have seen. We've lost but that. But I like to believe that there's good in everyone, and I've been proven wrong many times. This religion asks its followers to beware of the dark side of this force, which leads to fear, which leads to hate, and which in turn leads to suffering. Um, there is no scriptures for this religion there are no uh, commandments there are no there there's nothing written but there are guidelines for jedi marriages and you can check them out i can't imagine what the what the guidelines be maybe your bride has to wear um you know uh those those um biscuits on your head on either side like princess leia i don't know i can't imagine anything about these these brothers having a church or uh, you know they accept donations uh, 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 no, apparently not. Nothing about a church, and I I don't know where they're out of, where they're located. Out of their minds is where they're out. Of. Out of their minds, but yes, <laughs> they're so on another a, planet. Yeah, uh, yeah, literally. Yeah, they're in a literally. they're in, on a they're in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> in their own minds, yeah. So in this this uh, this religion has been around for thirteen years, and wow. this is the first time hearing of it. Yeah, and so same you know, here. I want I want to know. Hey, can I join up? You know, I want to because <laughs> I want to be able to walk around in a in a brown robe and, and hooded and have a lightsaber because uh, I think that would be really cool. You just want to do uh, that so you can be naked underneath that robe. <laughs> how did you know? Yeah. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> yeah. OK, well, that that um, that pretty much uh, takes care of uh, our current what in God's name. And, uh, and and again, just uh, anybody out there listening, we do not make this up. These are actual uh, religions. There's a list of 15 of them that I have found, and 
I don't re- remember what number this is, but um, there's plenty more. We've this probably came done from at least five or six of them by now. Well, at least five or six, and yeah. um, and they and keep they getting get more... weirder and weirder. I think. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Wait. Wait to hear the next one I got coming up. I don't know. I'm anyway, scared. Yeah. Well, it's 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 wacky, just like this uh, one. Well, you, you should use the force. Yeah. Make sure you the, use the force out there. The good force. Um, yeah. <laughs> Not the dark right. side of the force. Not the dark side. No. Right. Okay. Signing off. Ladies and gentlemen, stupid criminals. Welcome to another edition of Stupid Criminals. Oh, here we and go. And we don't and we don't call it stupid criminals for nothing, folks. Yep. Oh yeah, because there aren't too many smart criminals. But who's the gem actually, we got today? Actually, actually, you know, I take that back. There are some smart criminals, the ones that never get caught, but we like to talk about the stupid ones, the ones who actually do get caught. They're more entertaining. They absolutely, yes. <laughs> so, there is a 24-year-old woman. Uh-huh who made a big mistake on purpose. She got pregnant. Oh. No, no. <laughs> so... <laughs> that yeah. You don't go to jail for that. Well, no. it depends on <laughs> Yeah. Who the this woman was. uh Clo Rozak decided to take a trip to Hawaii. Okay. And that wouldn't be a bad thing, except Hawaii has a 10-day quarantine mandate for unvaccinated visitors. Oh, really? Huh. So, so Chloe thought, oh, I know what to do. I know how to get around that. I will attempt a fake vaccination card. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Which she did. Uh huh. And so, um, you know, when she got to Hawaii, the state safe travels program administrator, there actually is a safe travels program administrator. Who knew? Okay. That, that's the title. Okay. <laughs> um, looked at, took one look at her vaccination card and reported it as possibly fraudulent. <laughs> going yeah. well for her uh yeah okay so <laughs> uh, uh rosak who's an illinois resident apparently says she was vaccinated by two national guard members identified as corporal wolf and sergeant monty according to her vaccination card first of all <laughs> I didn't know National Guard members vaccinated people. That's problem number one. Problem number one. Where does that happen? <laughs> and only in America. And the Moderna vaccine, which is spelled M-O-D-E-R-N-A, apparently was spelled M-A-D-E-R-N-A on her card. <laughs> so. That would have helped so, if she looked that up, huh? <laughs> Yeah, so oh, boy. she, um, this woman basically at this point left the airport and officials later couldn't find a reservation at the hotel where she said she'd be staying and she didn't list return travel information. But the police tracked her down uh-huh. and they tracked her down through a distinctive tattoo on her left hip. Really? Which she posted a picture of on her Facebook account. So the <laughs> tattoo. Say, her hip. Yeah. The tattoo gave her away. Uh, apparently, the law enforcement officer spotted a woman with the tattoo at the Southwest Airlines counter at the Honolulu airport wow. on some Saturday and arrested her as she attempted to fly home. 
So, so um, you get arrested for something like that, huh? Yeah, in wow. Hawaii, they don't play games. Yeah. Damn. I think they should just arrest her, and it, and it should say, cause of arrest, stupidity. Just just that. <laughs> that you have to live with that on your record for the rest of your life. Stupidity. That or they tie you uh, up like uh, King Kong and they put you near a volcano, you know, and just scare you. Now you've seen too many movies, Bill. Okay. <laughs> so um, uh, after her arrest, you ready for this? Oh, yeah. She then told authorities that she was vaccinated by her own doctor and paid for the shot. <laughs> Again. She was just, another, just uh, reaching, wasn't she? <laughs> another lie on top of a mountain of lies. <laughs> Any, anyhow, so um, so she was um, booked on a misdemeanor charge of suspicion of falsified vaccination documents, and her bail was set at two thousand dollars. Oh my gosh, two thousand dollars! Wow, yeah. it was the whole trip. Probably, yeah, that's right, the whole trip. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so just uh, so a note to all you would-be criminals out there, if you're gonna. Try and spell something important as Moderna. Spell it right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And get that shot. And get that shot. That's it for now. <laughs> yeah. You got mail. Hey, Bill, you know what we get a lot of? Um... Uh, uh. Hey, let me rephrase that. You know what we get a lot of in the mail? Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, uh, letters? Yes. Oh, fan mail. We we really? actually get really? letters. Yeah, we get fan mail. We yeah. have fans? We have, believe it or not, we actually have fans. Yes. There was I a fan don't... behind me, but I usually just turn that thing off because it makes me cold. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's giving me a sore neck. Anyway, yeah. um, yes, we have fans and uh, and we have male, and so this is um, this male is a fans? new segment. Do we have any female fans? I don't know. We, oh, we'll you get there. Male. I'm gonna fans. I'm gonna open each one up and I'm gonna read them uh, here live, and um, and we'll see what they have to say. So here's one here. I'm gonna okay. open this. I'm gonna open this up. All right. It says. Dear pull yourself, do you actually pull yourself? <laughs> signed cur signed curious. <laughs> well, um because this is a family show, I'm just going to let that one slip by. Uh, Bill, you want to comment? <laughs> <laughs> not not on the air, no. <laughs> okay. All right. So, sending it over to you and you sent it right back to me. All right. Well, <laughs> curious um sometimes when I'm alone and um well, that's isn't that I the have. whole idea? That's usually yeah. supposed to be when you're yeah. alone, because if you're Basically. Yeah. with somebody else, yeah. then it's not, you yeah. know, and, the same, yeah. is it? Is it? And you, you, you definitely want to be alone, although you can get arrested. All right, <laughs> so um, here's another one. Let's. Oh, let's you lose your career. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> kind of like um, what was that guy, uh, Pee Wee Herman? All right, here we go. Sure. All right, this one says. Dear Ray and Bill, love your show. My husband and I use it to drown out the cats, dogs, kids, parrot, and ferret in our house. Really can't <laughs> hear a word you say, but it beats the symphony of chaos we have going on here. Keep up the good work. Okay, I don't know if that's a compliment or not. I um, <laughs> well, <laughs> it's drowning, drowning out it's, the other sounds of the house. Yeah, with, they, apparently there's the a lot going on talking. in this house. Yeah, kids. I thought they dogs. could just use us to, uh, you know, as as a as like a Valium. I didn't know, <laughs> didn't know they could. Yeah, we might put people to sleep. I don't <laughs> right. know. I have no idea, but at least somebody's listening. And that's uh, true. So we 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 are obviously um we we are providing a service here. We are um. Is that what you call it? I you could say that. I mean, we're doing okay. a service here for it's these people. Obviously, it's a service. Yeah. All right. Here's okay. here's another one. All right. All right. It says, do you pull yourself to pieces? Ha! A fan. Okay. 
short and to the point. Yeah. Somebody liked it. They went, ha. I guess if they like it, they said, ha. Huh. Yeah. They found us yeah. funny. Yeah. I sure that and, was the hope. That was the the funny parts, you know, the funny segments. So yeah. It wasn't just, you know. Well, yeah. <laughs> Uh, H H A, you know, it's very short and to the point. I like that. You know, didn't spend a lot of time, didn't use a lot of ink, obviously, and um, could have probably oh. put that on a five cent postcard. All right, here we go. Yeah. Here's another one. I'm gonna stick my hand in the bag, <laughs> and all right, um, dear Bill and Ray, been following you guys from the beginning. Love your show and think Bill is so talented and funny. He should have his own show, and he's obviously the talented one of the two of you. In fact, he should leave Ray and find another partner who is much funnier. Signed, B. Is this your handwriting? Um, no, 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 no. It certainly looks like your handwriting. Never, never seen that letter before. Uh huh. Ray. Yeah. No okay. Idea. You wanna, okay. Yeah. Nope. You, Benedict Arnold. Okay. Wasn't me. Here we got um yeah, we'll talk about this later. Let me All keep right. that one. I want to keep that one. I right, here, take it. You can frame that one. All right, I here. Hope. This nice. one says, Hey morons, your show sucks. I don't get the jokes, and I have more fun attractables. You are both stupid. Signed Bubba. <laughs> okay. All uh, right. Bubba. Always and, the love um, from Bubba. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> lots of love from Bubba. And I'm sure Bubba's friends don't listen to us either uh, or get the jokes. And, hey, you know, we're not for everybody. So, right, um, exactly. Yeah. Sorry, okay. Bubba. All right. All right. This one says, Dear Ray, I love your sexy voice. I touch myself when I listen to your podcast. I want to take Ooh. you to my bedroom and make passionate. I'm just going to stop here and put this in my pocket for safekeeping. Call me. <laughs> Okay, right. <laughs> Put that in my pocket, man. Pull me. All right. All right. And uh, here, I'm gonna go in the bag here and pull There's one more. One more out. Yeah, I'm gonna pull one one more out of here. It's wow. Says, uh, yeah. Oh, there's a bunch in there. I guess we'll save them for uh, our next episode. But this one says, "Hey guys, why don't you ever make sure the microphones are really off when you do dead air? And is your sister seeing anyone?" Asking for a friend. <laughs> Trust me, dude, you want no part of that. Oh, yeah, really? <laughs> and uh, if you if you haven't figured out by now why the microphones aren't really off, then there is no hope for you. Right. You, if they were really off, yeah. we wouldn't have a yeah. segment. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> this really so, be dead air. There'd be it'd nothing really to be hear. Dead air. <laughs> right. And that wouldn't be fun at all. No, so, I think that might be kind of boring. <laughs> Yeah, so there you go. Not everybody gets the joke. All right. Well, until we meet again, have a good one. Thanks, fans, and the other people. Yes. Thank you, fans, and and I'll be calling you later. Okay. This is breaking news. Hey, Bill, you ready for some breaking news? I'm ready. I'm on the edge of my seat. I'm excited. Well, well, I'm be about careful to you pee don't... in my pants. Oh, boy. I can't contain right. myself. Oh, boy. What segment is this again? Those... You've been eating those dog biscuits again, What segment you? is this again? This is breaking news. Oh, right, yeah. Things that are not really in the news, but... Wait, what? Uh, never mind. Okay. In other news, in order to be politically correct and not offend indigenous people... Geronimo will no longer be yelled when exiting a skydiving plane. Holy f***ing shit is now the accepted alternative. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm you, speechless. You knew, I, you knew it was bound to happen sooner or later. <laughs> you know, just think how many times poor, poor, you know, American it Indians It makes more sense. Be, doesn't it? Yeah. I, I know that's what I would yell if I was jumping out of a plane. Yeah. <laughs> you know what Geronimo yells when he jumps out a window? What? Me! All right, never mind. <laughs> All right, here we go. In order to keep pace with the learning curve of children from other countries, the United States will now offer calculus to first graders. Oh, God. 
Oh, that's horrible. Hey. Oh, it's about time the little bastards got. I mean, those those great little kids got a, a, a you know a good uh, education. Good I education. Mean, we're, we're always last. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, Something no. as hard as calculus for a first grader, we're in trouble. These poor kids are gonna, you know, they're gonna have uh, right, yeah, anxiety right, attacks. And... <laughs> right after, right after the finger painting, we go right to calculus. Yeah, right. Yeah. right to calculus. All right. Oh, wow. A bargain basement airline startup is announcing transatlantic flights for just twenty five dollars. Wow. Sales. Sign me up. Yeah. Wait. Well, hold on. Oh. You may not want to be signed up. Sails attached to oars that protrude into the cockpit and straddle every seat allows passengers to row their way to the destination. <laughs> no beverages will be served. <laughs> Damn, so you no basically that flight? Damn. no, no beverage. No, because you're going to be too busy rowing. And, you know, you know, there's a guy up front, you know, beating a big drum like bang, 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 <laughs> bang. Hey. Look, it, it's the best way to go green, right? You don't burn any jet yeah. fuel. Okay. And um, okay. yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, look, twenty five dollars to go across, you know, the Atlantic. That's a good price. That's true. All oh, right. Yeah. Can't be. In that. other news, the waning and antiquated coal industry has found a novel way to be relevant again. Lumps of coal can be bought at all retail box stores and used as Christmas gifts for children who have been naughty. Don't you remember? Your mom would always say, oh, "If you're yeah. not good, you're not right. good. You're going to get a lump of coal in your in your in your stocking." Right, a lump of coal. So, I mean, this way you don't have to burn it and you know be toxic for the air. But you give children, you know, you make them learn a lesson. You know, when they they look in their stocking and they see a lump of coal. You know, how much is a lump of coal even worth? Is it is it got any value? <laughs> I don't. Well, it must. It must have some value. Maybe it's got more value than getting something that you would like have got for Xbox? Christmas anyway. Like an Xbox? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I, I, I'll take two lumps of coal. Yeah. <laughs> Mom. Wouldn't be surprised if some enterprising young child thought, I know, I'll collect all the coal and I'll sell it back to um. <laughs> right. I'll burn it. I'll burn it in the fireplace. Okay. The last traveling circus is closing its tent after just two years. Oh. Yeah, no, with the obesity rate so high, only two clowns can now fit inside a clown car, and the High Wire Act performs just four feet off the ground due to overweight aerialists. <laughs> See, you know, we, we are, we are, we're an overweight country, and, and now the circus is, is, you know, it's, 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 it's suffering. Now aren't we something like, 60 70 percent is overweight that's and i know really... i know i'm 70 percent overweight anyway <laughs> so hey only two clowns in a count in a clown car that's not much fun you know that'd be like me and you getting out of my car <laughs> right. you know what i mean yeah i mean you know okay you need at least three. Oh, for it to be interesting yeah <laughs> anything yeah china today made a stunning announcement that shook the world they have admitted that they do not eat Chinese food and only sell it as such to America. <laughs> so that General's chicken, ah, they don't make it over there. And uh, lo mein, they don't eat that crap either. No, they don't eat any of that. No, no. What it's, are they, they eating? I don't know. I think American they eat just food. Plain, yeah, they're eating McDonald's. No, I think they eat just plain white rice. Ooh, and that's tough. Maybe some, maybe some fish. That's but all that stuff, when you go to a Chinese restaurant, you look up at there, you see all those plates. They're laughing at us. They don't eat any of that stuff. <laughs> okay. So the first solar-powered car exits the assembly line today and is destined to be the next great mode of transportation. All right. The car, yeah. The car moves forward at great next speed as long as the sun is shining. Oh. On cloudy days or nights, a one-horsepower gas engine shines a 200-watt bulb on the grid, enabling the driver to speed along at three miles per hour. <laughs> so, so you need yeah. the sun or you're right. done. <laughs> right. Sun or done. There you go. Sun you just basically, when the sun goes down, you just, wherever you are, you pull over for the night. Because you, <laughs> can, walk, you can walk faster than three miles per hour. Yeah. <laughs> and so that's the forward to solar cars. Oh, you know, I think that's the coolest thing. I mean, except yeah, yeah. It it's 
it's great. You're going to have this car with solar collectors on it and it's going to store it. But it's true. If we yeah. don't have any sun, you're in big yeah, trouble, right. you know, and yeah. and you could be out somewhere and, and all of a sudden, well, I guess yeah. the same thing can happen with an electric car if you didn't get a full charge and you're out pretty far and until we actually sure. have places where you can kind of pull your car in and charge up, right. you yeah. know, I but the the ultimate the ultimate green car would be a solar powered car. Think about it. Yeah, but it's going to need some Nothing. sort of backup, something. At yeah. least at least a spot for me to put my feet out, yeah. and I can do yeah. the Flintstones, yeah. and I can yeah. you know. How about how about your mother in law just gets out and pushes the car? Okay, that'll work. That'll work. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's it for the news. All right. <laughs> It's time once again for Pull Yourself to Pieces, Old Time Radio, and the drama. Hey. Yeah? So did I tell you um, Trevor's new hobby? Well, he has so many. Which one? Oh, for those of, the, those of you out there who don't know, Trevor is my, uh, one, of, one of my sons. He's in his 20s. Uh yeah, he um he picked up a car. Like, you know, one of those I don't know what you call them, cars that need work. Oh, a project headache. car. A what? Project car. Oh, yeah, project. Yeah. I like that. That cracks me up to call it a project. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, that anyway, too. that project is yeah. sitting on my uh front lawn with yeah. a tarp on it. Uh huh. Because it doesn't run. Right, but that's the whole fun of the project car. You gotta, you gotta make it run. You gotta fun. work on I, it and I get your hands understand. dirty. Yeah. <laughs> well, what don't you understand? Well, yeah. You know, I don't know. Well, yeah, that's because he, you, you're not, you're not mechanically inclined. That's why. No, not really. No. No. Yeah. There's, a, there's a lot of things that he's into that I'm not into. I mean, well, for, well. First of all, I mean, I'm not into cars like that. You know, he's he does like cars, um, and uh, and I I wouldn't take on a project like that. I wouldn't do it. You know, you got to be good with your hands, and I I'm not I I barely get by. But he's 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 got this like he ha, ha, huh, it's funny he's got like this natural ability like you do with with his hands. You know, yeah. When it comes to uh, well, that doesn't surprise me. I'm not sure what that means. Well, think about it. Oh, okay. Because of the same, you're right. We're brothers, so he's uh -huh. got some. Yeah, you guys have a yeah. good relationship. We, you talk a lot. Yeah, and... we do. Yeah, we're like, we're like father Wait, and what? son. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, uh, never mind. Wait, what? Never mind. He he writes a lot. He's been writing stuff to you about something that he yeah yeah knows. we uh, we yeah we we've, we've been writing each other stuff yeah yeah he you has guys some have questions. a lot in common. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we 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 certainly do. A little <laughs> a little odd, don't you think? What are you laughing well, at? Wait a no, minute. No, well, what? yeah, well, you, do you do you remember that one night New Year's Eve about I don't know about twenty eight years ago. You had that New Year's Eve party, and we were all pretty smashed. Yeah, I don't remember, but um, I, I, not quite sure, but uh, I might have um, accidentally fallen into bed with your wife. What? Well, it was an accident, and we were both really drunk, and you were out. You were passed out. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I'm not sure, but I think I, I knew her biblically. What? Are you kidding yeah. me? What? No. Yeah. What? Yeah, I, I hate to say this, but I don't really think Trevor's yours. Oh my God! What? Yeah. <laughs> you a mean good all those things mine. like him having, you know, yeah, even the same kind of hair you have? Now that I'm thinking yeah. about it. Yeah. He walks the same as you. Yeah, the singing, yeah. the writing. 
Yeah, the I cars? know. Cars? I'm having a panic attack. I'm having a panic I attack. No, I, no, that's, again, this can't I, I be true. I didn't, I didn't mean it. It was an accident. It just happened, you know. Uh, it's an accident? Look, that's yeah, a, that's an I, accident? Well, <laughs> it's one way to look at it. And then an accident oh. happened nine months after that. Oh, oh my God. Um, oh, my uh, God. Oh, yeah, my God. Um, um, actually, it's funny you should bring it up because I'm waiting on the funny. DNA results. Oh, well, not yeah. really funny, but I'm I'm waiting on the DNA results now. Actually, I'm expecting an email any minute uh, to tell oh. Oh whether or not, uh, yeah, that he's maybe mine. So, oh. Um, oh my God! I, I was really I, I was really hoping you were going to take this a lot better, you know. Oh, just, oh, oh, what? Just, really? Oh well, you know, accidents happen. You oh. know. Brotherly love, you know. Oh, that's a little too much brotherly love, you know. Well, there's like, uh, you know, okay, you're gonna go out with a different girlfriend, but not my wife. Ah, uh, well, again, it was an accident. We were my drunk. son. Yeah, well, is that my son? No, I don't know. Hold on, you know, it could be. Wait, up, oh, wait. Here's the email. All right, wait, hold on. I'm gonna open it up. All right, hold uh, on. Uh, yeah, I'm opening it up. It yeah. says, right. dear Mister. Uh, uh, are we after the test? Uh, test prove that you are not the father. Oh, who's not the father? Oh, oh you're not. I'm the not the. I'm not the father. So um, you're going to be coming over for uh, Christmas, right? Christmas dinner. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got the whole thing planned. Yeah, it's going to be oh, great. Good. 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 I'm Do glad. I have to bring gifts? Um, I don't think no, I don't think don't it'd be fair. Just yourself as a gift. You, yeah, you know, you're because the you know, this like this yeah. four. I I am the greatest gift. It's you true. Are. I mean, because this four of you is only one of me. So that's true. You guys would definitely get the better end of this deal. So uh, that is true. Yeah. Then you got to bring. Yeah. So you know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Looking forward to Christmas. All, All right. right. We'll see you then. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Tune in next time for another exciting segment of Pull Yourself to Pieces, Old Time Radio, and the drama. Thank you. Please wait for assistance. Movie Quotes. Okay, and welcome to a new segment that we call, and I quote. What? And I And you quote, quote. what? Well, what is it? I'm going to quote... Um, what? Well, we're going to do movies. I'm, I'm, I'm I mean, confused. technically, we could do, you know, famous people. You said, and I oh. quote, and then you didn't say anything. Well, that's, we're just calling the, the segment, and I quote. Oh, the segment is, and I quote. And I quote, and we're going to, we're going to go back and forth with movie quotes, and you're going to try and guess which movies I'm talking about, and I'll try and guess which movies you're talking about, and whoever wins oh. will get half a cookie. Well, only half a cookie? Jeez. Well, our budget's getting lower. I'm surprised we don't just get the chocolate chips out of the cookie. I mean, how much? What, what's next? Just cookie, uncooked cookie dough? That That's might it. be, we, yeah. We, 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 we need to go start a GoFundMe, GoFundMe page for our show so we could actually have some prizes here. Okay. And lucky for you, and lucky for you, I just happen to have three quotes. Whew. I pulled them out of, pulled them out of, my, out of a hat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Hat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Hit me. Okay, here's here's your first quote, Will. See if you can figure out the movie. Oh boy. I think that this situation requires a really futile and stupid gesture to be done on somebody's part. Oh. Gosh. That's a good quote. Damn. Whew. Can I have that again? <laughs> I think that this situation requires a really futile and stupid gesture be done on somebody's part. Oh, boy. I'm drawing a blank. I like the Would quote. Would you like a clue? Okay, go ahead. College. Oh, that was too good of a clue. It's gotta be... Oh, boy, all of a sudden I can't think of the name of the movie. Don't Ooh, tell me. I might win this one. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, gosh. Um, 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 Animal House. Uh, oh, dang. He got it right, yes. folks. Yes, he did. You know, That's right. I didn't remember that was in the movie, that line. 
But yeah. you saying college kind of put it together because I know that's one of your favorite movies. Yeah. Oh, it is. It's absolutely. It's hysterical. It's one of my. It's one of my all-time favorite movies. Yep. Yep. The movie. The the movie literally has has almost everything. <laughs> I mean, really, it has, it has, it's got a love story. It's got this great soundtrack. It's got, you know, just ridiculous stuff going on on this campus. It's got one of the greatest comedy talents that ever lived. Oh, poor, Uh, poor John. Yeah. Gone too soon. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Are you going to give me one? Are we going to do all at the same time? I don't know. How do you want to do it? All right. I might as well do do my next one. You ready? Here we go. All right, Number here's two. my next quote. All right. I better cough up a lung. I better co- Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's good. I know that. Oh, I better cough up a lung. Oh, 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 boy. Okay. Uh, that's not inner space. No. Okay. Um. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. All right, how about... A clue if it's male or female. Oh, male. Oh, didn't help me much anyway. <laughs> what I ask that? <laughs> no I got help. a good clue for you. Go a ahead. Ferrari. A Ferrari. A Ferrari. Uh, the gumball rally? No. Okay, okay. Um, You're almost out of time. Uh, uh, Ford versus Ferrari. No, I'll give you one more clue. Okay. Donkey Shane. Oh, yeah, that was a good clue. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I better cough up a lung. Oh, wait, when did he say that? At the very beginning of the movie when he's talking to the camera. <laughs> he says, I, I've, been, I've been out 10 days and I better... I, I better really make this look good. I better. I, I'm gonna have to cough up a lung. He lung. says. <laughs> That's great. Uh, uh, All Matthew right, here Broderick we go. At his best, right? At his best, absolutely. At his best. Owned that role. Owned. He it. did. He really yeah. did. All right, here we go. Here's your third. Your, All right. Your third question. Go ahead. Yeah. Tell your brother that if he messes with me, he messes with my whole family. Oh. Oh my gosh! I should know that. Tell your brother. Oh my god, how could I not get this? I know that. Oh, I'm going to slap myself. And I might like it. Um, I'm going to slap myself when I when you tell me what it is. Oh my gosh. This is with my whole family. Tell your brother. Uh, uh, can't buy me love? Um, no. Um, no. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wow. I'm at a loss. We got a clue? Five foot two. Oh. Uh, uh, my cousin Vinny? No. Oof, boy. Um, I don't know. Legally blonde. <laughs> no. The 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 most unlikeliest of twins. Oh, what was the line again? Yeah, tell your brother that if he messes with me, he messes with my whole family. Twins. <laughs> That's right. Right. <laughs> right. Oh yeah. You know they were supposed to make a a a sequel to that. Is this a joke? No, seriously, they were supposed to be making a sequel to that. They've been trying to make it for ages. It was going to be called oh, Triplets, I... and the third person was going to be Eddie Murphy. <laughs> no, sh- no kidding. <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd go to the theater to see that. I bet you would. Uh, yeah, that was good Arnold acting. You know, Arnold yes. Arnold does, did a good job in that, and he did, and he did a good job in, in uh, uh, True Lies, too, I thought. Yes, yes. Yeah. All right, my okay. turn. Okay. All right, so here we go. Yeah. All right. First movie quote. I don't know what the hell's in there, but it's weird and pissed off, whatever it is.
Nothing, huh? I know I've heard this before. I'm just trying to pick. I'm trying to place the film. Um, I give you another quote. I right, give me a clue. A uh, clue. Um. Oh, okay. I might give too much of a clue, but I'll say remake. Give me the line again. Okay. What's the I line? don't know what the hell's in there, but it's weird and pissed off, whatever it is. Let me give you another another quote. Okay. I know you gentlemen have been through a lot, but when you find the time, I'd rather not spend the rest of this winter tied to this effing couch. That's funny. That line I did not remember in this movie at all. I'll give you a clue. Okay. Cold. No? Um. Uh, the thing? Yes. I knew you'd finally get it. Yes. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> and I've seen that movie at least a dozen times. I know. That's, I, I, that's why I was surprised. But, you know, those are... That's not a very quotable movie. No, it's it's no, it's not. It's really not. It's really not. No. All right. This one will be a little bit easier because this one okay. has a lot of quotes, and not, you'll probably know this one. Okay. What do you mean they cut the power? How could they cut the power, man? They're animals. Die Hard? No. Okay. Um, um, no, how wait, about another wait, quote? No. no, no. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Dog Day Afternoon? <laughs> no. Okay. Give me a clue. Uh, a clue. Um, 1980s. Yikes. Gee, that's... <laughs> That's only about 2,000 films. Um, yeah. Okay, okay. Sequel. That still doesn't help me. Okay. Um, All right. A sequel. Uh, How about another and... quote? Wait, oh, 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 Ghostbusters. No. Oh. Good guess. All right. I give up. Oh, there is a link, sort of, between Ghostbusters and this. Another clue. Sort of. Ghostbusters 2? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Worth it's way more of a known movie than that. I got nothing. Stop your grinning and drop your linen. Stop your grinning and drop your linen. I don't know. Maybe I didn't see this movie. Oh, you saw this. Everybody saw this movie. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh. All right, sweethearts. You heard the man. You know the drill. Assholes and elbows. Nope. Drawing a blank. Maybe you haven't been keeping up with current events, pal, but we just got our asses kicked. Space. The final frontier. <laughs> These are the voyages. No. Um, All right, your time's uh, uh, up. I Independence Day? No. <laughs> wow. That wasn't the 80s. Independence Day was the 90s. It was That's Aliens. Right. Aliens. Yeah, all those quotes are from Aliens. The second Alien. Aliens. Yes, Aliens. Right, not Alien. Aliens. Oh, Sigourney goodness. Weaver. There's... When you said Ghostbusters, that's why I said, "Oh, it's uh, you know." So. Uh, no, that that one. No, I didn't okay. recognize any, any of those from that film. All right. Okay, I'm going to give you my third one now. You may have may not have seen this movie, so if if you didn't, you'll get this automatically. Yeah. You'll I'll give it okay. to you, of course. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Third movie quote. I have been touched by your kids, and I'm pretty sure that I've touched them. 
<laughs> That's a pretty funny quote. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds like something Groucho Marx would say. I don't. Um, I don't know. I need. I need way more current than one. that. It's from two thousands on. Right, give me another. Give me another line if you can. Okay. Who? Um, it'll test your head and your mind and your brain too. No, no I got nothing. Nope. All right. How about this? Give up. Just quit. Because in this life, you can't win. Yeah, you can try, but in the end, you're just going to lose. Big time, because the world is run by the man. Oh. Well, I think you won this round, because I've, I've got, I got nothing. Uh, music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. The sound of music. No. Um, Grease. Um, no. Uh, West Side Story. I don't know. Give <laughs> me... <laughs> <laughs> School of Rock. Did you see that? Oh, for crying out loud. You did see it. Yes. Actually, <laughs> okay. just recently, like a month oh, ago. Oh, that's funny. That's a great movie. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. funny. You just saw it recently. You know, those like registered. And especially no, the not... man one, because that's like a big part of that movie. You know? But that's okay. So no. I won. I get to eat half the cookie. And you can yeah. watch. I'll leave you the chips. How's that? Okay. Good. Good deal. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy. All right. Thanks so much. Okay. This presentation sponsored by. Do you love potato chips, but not all the fat and sodium that comes with them? Introducing Bob's Boring Potato Chips. At Bob's, we take only the finest Idaho potatoes, slice them thin and boil them in water until they're soft and mushy. Then we gently place them in foil bags for you and your family to enjoy. And the best part is that instead of throwing away all the crumbs that are left at the bottom of the bag, you can put them in a bowl and make mashed potatoes. Now who doesn't like boring mashed potatoes? Find us in the dog food aisle of your favorite market. Bob's Boring Potato Chips. So, hey, listen, thanks for joining us this week on Pull Yourself to Pieces. Please check out our website, pullyourselftopieces.podbean.com, and subscribe to the show in Google and Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Audible, TuneIn Radio, or via RSS, so you'll never miss an episode. And if you enjoy our show, don't forget to give us a high rating. And remember to tell your friends about the show. Yeah, right, what he said. And listen, be sure to tune in for our next podcast. So, Ray, what do we have in store for next week's show? Ho! Oh, have we got a show coming up? Ooh. A yeah, a world famous designer will be here to show us the latest fall fashions. And straight from her triumphant return from Atlantic City, Rachel the Mind Reader will be here to read our thoughts. And oh, uh, have you seen? Really? Have you yeah? Have you seen Rachel? Uh, uh, n- no. Have you have you seen her? Well, uh, what? Why? It shouldn't be hard. It shouldn't be too hard to read my thoughts. <laughs> oh, Rachel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. We're going to get in trouble. <laughs> oh, I hope so. It might be our last show, folks. <laughs> Would that be a bad thing? I don't know. <laughs> Go out with a bang. Go out with a bang. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I really can't wait to see those fall fashions. I'm so excited. How about you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't sound very excited. That was my excited voice, yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, most importantly, check out our ebook, The Idiot's Guide to How to Launch a Podcast, with our interactive segment where you can question Ray. That's right. You're a resident idiot. Hey. It's time to get back to the main topic today. The unusual habit of getting naked to poop. Ray, you have first-hand experience with this. Thanks for listening to our show, and thank you to freesounds.org.
and Gottlieb, Audio Mirage, Plastiverain, Cognito Perceptu, FK Prod, Mirage Taser, Shadow Wisp, D-Boss, Biku Seru, Intra Environmental Sound Project, Julian Nicholas, Carmelo Mike, G Kill Hour, 140178 Sound, CMU Sound Design, Alan M. Chi, Der Super Anton, Eric H. 2000, Bulbastray, FK Phantom, Ultra Dust, Ada Records, Stuart Colborn, Debroid, Cuba Dup, GJ, Syntax C, Inspector J, Astounded, Madge 061785, Just Invoke, Short Record, Lorenzo Sue, and Ama Kenzie. CreativeCommons.org slash licenses slash buy slash 3.0 slash legal code.